All right, so we're gonna do another best Edmonton neighborhood, or at least neighborhoods in Southwest Edmonton. Today, we're gonna be doing Ramsey Heights. It's also in the Twilliger River Bend area. And on the south side, it's bordered by the community of Radigan Ridge. And on the north side, it's bordered by the community of Brander Gardens. It basically goes along River Bend Road and it essentially starts around 40th Avenue and then ends uh, right around 53rd Avenue. And it's on both sides of River Bend Road. And on the far west side, you've got the River Valley as well. So it's a really nice community in the Twilliger River Bend area. I consider this area more of River Bend since it's a little bit older. It was built basically from the mid 70s until the mid to late 80s is when they essentially finished building this neighborhood. And uh, you've got a lot of single family homes in here, but you've also got some townhouses and apartments as well. So there's a little bit of everything. So let's take a look here at some of the houses. We're already in Ramsey Heights now. We're basically driving around Ramsey Park, which is this area on our right. It's quite a large park um, that is right against River Bend Road and then going into the Ramsey Heights side on the west side. Um, but let's take, oh, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll keep driving here and let you see a little bit more of the park from the outer layer. And then we'll go back and look at some of the houses. There's actually a decent hill in here for tobogganing that uh, is popular with the kids. It's not just a completely flat park. So you can see it's pretty large, probably a little hard to see, but there is actually a playground in part of the park as well. Probably get a better look from a different angle. Let's start looking at some of the houses now. So uh, right here along the park, we've got some of the single family homes. And here's some of the apartments. These ones are just, uh, this one's a boardwalk rental. So these ones right here are just rental apartments. And then over on my left, on the opposite side of me, uh, we've actually got, these are more like townhouse, like half duplexes, essentially, since most of them are two or more. This one's a, a four piece, so that's more like a townhouse, but some of them are just two pieces. And Coming up on our right is the church in the neighborhood. Okay, now I'm hopping back onto River Bend Road. I'm kind of doing a whole loop around the park here. That's the River Bend United Church. And then this is Ramsey Park again here on, my, on our right. And this time you'll be able to see a little bit of the playground here coming up soon, since we're a, a lot closer from this side of the park. So now I'm going to go back up, uh, this is 43rd Avenue, I didn't mention that before, but we're turning back onto 43rd Avenue and we're going to go and actually look at some of the houses now since we've went around the big neighborhood park. Okay. A lot of these definitely have that sort of like 80s look to the exterior of the homes if you're familiar with the trends over the years. It's pretty common to have like that orangey brick uh, was used quite a bit in the 80s and the 70s. They're pretty big houses overall uh, in Ramsey Heights. Like there, there is definitely a mix of sizes, but a lot of them are pretty substantial.
And if you like these neighborhood videos, uh, we're gonna keep making more of them. So make sure to like the video and subscribe and then you'll get notified when we upload new neighborhood tour videos. We also do market update videos and sort of um, variety videos about different cool stuff that we've been interested in. So we've, we've covered some stuff on everything from uh, virtual reality to cast iron pans and cooking and who knows whatever <laughs> whatever else we feel like doing we might add to the channel as well um, it's not all about real estate but it's definitely one of the key areas okay so now we're getting really close to the western edge of uh, Ramsey Heights here and this is actually the, the river valley on our left so there is it's open right here you can actually see right across uh, but there's also yeah so this is the river valley right here and there's actually quite a few houses in Ramsey Heights that back right onto the river valley and of course that's gonna be typically the most expensive houses um, and most of the houses that are sort of on this back uh, road right near the river valley are going to be more expensive Ramsey Park again. So let's look at some more of these homes along the western side. So some of these homes here on our left are also essentially backing onto uh, the river valley. home on our right looks like it's either newer or has been substantially modernized on the outside. As you can see most of these homes that are on the outer edge are, are the the biggest homes in, in the community and they're more of an estate home type thing. And we've still got more on our left here, it's still backing onto the river valley. We're essentially just driving along the river. lot of unique homes in this part of Ramsey Heights that's for sure. So we're pretty much on the northern edge of, of Ramsey Heights now so we will probably swing back around here. So we're right around the border of when it becomes part of Brander Gardens so we'll Save that for another video. Okay, and then right here, we're now on like 51st Avenue. And uh, let's see, that's uh, 151 Street. We've got some apartments on our left. And I believe these ones are condos. I'd have to, oh, it says rental office. So they might all be rentals.
from Ramsey Heights, you can get onto uh, Twilliger Drive really quickly, um, either from 53rd Avenue uh, or um, the other option would be 40th Avenue. So the, both of those connected to Twilliger Drive. Uh, well, actually, no, 53rd Avenue will take you right onto the White Mud, and then 40th a through 40th Avenue, you can get on Twilliger Drive and then to the White Mud from there. It's pretty close to Riverbend Square. Uh, which we showed Riverbend Square in our Henderson Estates video tour. So I'll uh, put a little tooltip so you can go check that out, that video, and, and see where we drove through Riverbend Square. So that's only like five minutes away, depending on where you're coming from in this neighborhood. It's about a 13 minute drive to Windermere and all the shopping uh, near the Windermere. So that includes like the Superstore, the Home Depot, you know, wine and beyond, tons of other stores. It's also only about a 10 minute drive from Southgate Mall and West Edmonton Mall when there's not too much traffic. So it's pretty conveniently located. You can get to both the West End and the South Side pretty easily from here. Now I wanna move over and show you sort of the Eastern side of uh, Ramsey Heights, which is currently on my left. We've, we've only really looked at the, at the Western side so far. And now we're gonna go check out like the other half. So around here we've got the courtyard of Riverbend, which this is a townhouse community. So I'll quickly kind of drive through here. And they're pretty good sized townhouses. Most of them are actually more of like a half duplex setup where it's just two of them. Like you've just got, you're only connected to the one neighbor, uh, but they are condos. So there are condo fees and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about too much of the stuff from the outside, but uh, if you're on the inside you well you can see there's a guy here clearing snow <laughs> so there is sort of like another side to that complex but that gives you an idea on mostly what that looks like then over here we've got some more single family homes they're all still decent size homes but not quite as large as some of the ones we saw on the western side so far and so basically when I'm talking about Eastern and Western, that's just how I separated in my head. Uh, I'm considering the Eastern side, everything on the East side of Riverbend Road and the Western side, everything on the West side of Riverbend Road, since that's like the main road that goes right, essentially right down the middle. Then for schools in the area, like the, the designated schools for kindergarten to grade six is the Brander Gardens School. Um, that's located in Brander Gardens, believe it or not. Then for junior high is Riverbend Junior High, uh, which is grade seven to nine. That is essentially right on 53rd Avenue. So it's just bordering the top of this neighborhood. It's not technically in Ramsey Heights, but it's very close by. And then the designated high school is Strathcona School or Strathcona Composite, uh, which is actually over by White Avenue. So that is a little ways away. However, there's also Lillian Osborne School, which is also the newer high school that's right by the Twilliger Rec Center, which we had talked about in our Henderson Estates video as well. So uh, quite a few options for schools um, besides those. Those are just the designated schools. And of course, as you know, since we were driving along the river valley essentially you do have easy access to the river valley there is a path system that will connect you if you follow it kind of through the path system that goes through radigan ridge into twilliger park uh, which is that off leash park we showed it very briefly again in the henderson estates video that we'll we'll link to uh, you can check that out we drove through the parking lot and you can kind of see a little bit about how big that area is so you can connect connect to that and then you're into the whole like river valley system from there and uh, you can um, take nice walks all the way across the city if you wanted to through the river valley even going past uh, Fort Edmonton Park connecting through the zoo it, it, you can easily get to the entire river valley system public transportation it looks like there's about four uh, public bus routes in Ramsey Heights um, most of the stops are along Riverbend Road uh, so depending on where you're located in Ramsey Heights there could be a bit of a walk between you and the nearest bus stop and just to give you a bit of an idea on pricing we're just going to share some benchmark prices so I won't give too many details here of course if you want to know more you can reach out to us uh, we're real estate agents here in Edmonton so if you're looking to buy or sell a home uh, feel free to give us a call you can reach me on my cell at 780 819 uh, or shoot me a text or an email but to give you an idea on some benchmark pricing 
the benchmark price for a single family uh, as a whole in Ramsey Heights is $556,600 as of December 2021. Uh, for a one-story single family home, it's $507,000. $300. Uh, for a two-story single family home, it's $580,700. Uh, now if we go into townhouses, like the benchmark price for townhouses in Ramsey Heights is $280,400. And for the apartment condos, it's $156,100. Uh, of course, that's just the benchmark, so that's gonna be like the most typical or most average is another way of sort of looking at it. But every home is gonna have different size and other characteristics that'll affect the price. That just gives you a benchmark idea, essentially. And these ones right here are more than likely apartment condos. There are some other townhouse complexes that are just kind of like right along River Bend Road. We sort of missed already. Uh, but that does give you a pretty good idea on the type of stuff that's in here. Now we're basically driving out of Ramsey Heights now. We're coming up on 53rd Avenue. So if I exited this way on our right, uh, we would be going uh, onto Twilliger Drive from here. So. And this is also River Bend Junior High uh, that I'd mentioned earlier here across the street from me. So that's the Junior High. I actually went to that Junior High myself, so I'm quite familiar with it. I'm sure it's changed quite a bit since then. Um, but uh, we'll just quickly kind of ring around here, get turned around. Yeah, so that's front entrance of River Bend Junior High. I'll also show you Brander Garden School, which is just a little bit up this way. So we are technically in Brander Gardens, but I thought I'd show you uh, right here. This is Brander Garden School, which was the uh, kindergarten to grade six designated school for, for Ramsey Heights here on our right. So that covers at least your kindergarten through grade nine for the designated schools. Um, there's also right here in, in Brander Gardens now, I know we're in Brander Gardens, but I'll show you this uh, shopping center here in a moment. Just gotta kind of drive around and start over. Basically, I'm gonna show you this. This is a pretty decent sized shopping center and I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, it's not River Bend Square. This is like another area that's a little it's older than River Bend Square that's been here quite a bit longer. Um, but they've got a fair amount of stuff in here. So I don't know if you'd call it uh, the River Bend Professional Center. Looks like that's at least uh, the name of one of the buildings. But they do have uh, a, a car wash here, one of those like self-serve car washes where you can get out in your car, get out of your car and uh, choose what type of, you know, spray you're gonna use and how thorough you'll be got some convenience stores so there's basically it's got a strip mall here um, there's also it looks like there's a swim school here you may have seen before we turned in that there was a daycare got a donair shop always a good neighborhood staple you know dental family physicians some hair places some uh, Chinese food barber shop pharmacy. I think there used to be a cafe here, but it looks like it's for lease. Probably had some switch over in uh, tenants. Uh, but it's just sort of a nice little community uh, strip mall and 
we've got a few different things here that uh, could be useful and it's really only a few minute drive from Ramsey Heights um, even though you're technically going into Brander Gardens and that's basically right across from that Brander Gardens uh, elementary school that we drove by okay so I'm going to go back work my way back into Ramsey Heights and I'll show you another little convenient center strip mall that's uh, it's not again it's not technically in Ramsey Heights uh, it's just on the top of uh, Radigan Ridge on 40th Avenue but that's essentially right on the border of where Ramsey Heights begins uh, and there there's a gas station there's a bar and there's also a few other things in the strip mall so we'll just quickly show you that before I show you guys that other uh, shopping center I was just talking about. There is actually a little strip mall that is right in Ramsey Heights. We, we drove past it before, but we didn't look at it because uh, we were looking at the church instead, but it was on our left at that time. Now it's actually going to come up on our right here pretty soon. I'm, I'm still on River Bend Road. I'm, I'm headed south, just essentially entered Ramsey Heights again. And there's a little strip mall coming up on our right, right across from the church. That I will show you. There used to be a convenience store in here as well as a couple other things. So this this will be walking distance depending on where you're located in Ramsey Heights. Uh, but yeah we've got a daycare convenience store. What else do we got in here? Secret Suites, Edward Jones Investments, Barber Shop, and a School of Music. So just a small little neighborhood strip mall right across from the church. One thing I did forget to mention is uh, if you're interested in getting more information about the Edmonton real estate market and uh, Ramsey Heights in particular, I'll put a link in the description where you can actually go and download the latest market report for Ramsey Heights, which will give you more information about pricing, uh, how long it takes stuff to sell, and if it's more of a buyer's or seller's market. Uh, and regardless of when you're watching this video, I will update that with the most recent month's statistics and uh, reports. So you can go into that page and opt in and, and you'll always get the most recent uh, report. Plus, uh, if you sign up for that each month, I will send you a market report for the entire area of Edmonton. You'll get sent out each month, plus a, uh, a link to a YouTube video where I actually go into how the whole market in Edmonton is performing overall. I'm coming out the bottom end of Ramsey Heights. So if I kept going straight, we would be going into Radigan Ridge, uh, but I'm going to turn left here on 40th Avenue and show you the little shopping center that's on the corner of 40th Avenue and uh, Twilliger Drive. So here's the, where the shopping center starts, uh, if you're coming from the interior side. So we've got a Circle K uh, gas station and convenience store here. We've got a uh, liquor store. We've got the Bend, which is like a, a neighborhood pub. And then we've also got uh, some boutiques, uh, dry cleaners, vet clinic pharmacy, real estate brokerage here, pizza hut, and a dental office. So nothing huge here. And I just realized that they turned that into a one-way. You used to be able to get onto Tilliger Drive from there, but they 
took it away. They're, they're widening to Ligger Drive right now, so it's been adjusted a bit. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Ramsey Heights uh, community. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these. Uh, we've already got a Henderson Estates. Uh, what else do we have? We have McGrath done already and Twilliger Town. So make sure to go check out those videos as well if you're looking in the Twilliger Riverbend area. Um, we're going to be covering all of the Twilliger Riverbend area first before we move on to any other communities in southwest Edmonton. But we're going to be putting out a lot of content on the area so that you can get informed and find out what it would be like to live in the area and what you'll have access to and how close everything is. So I hope you guys have been finding the video helpful and uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and uh, we'll see you on the next video.